Hey, how you doing? How's everybody doing today? I'd like to talk about loving others' cultures and countries. The backgrounds, ethnic stuff, the ethnic foods, getting to know people better. Because, you know, there's a lot of heat among people who have different skin tones, different cultural backgrounds, stuff like that. And I see it sometimes on the news and TV and other stuff like that. Other re even religion. People are hating over people who, who believe in different gods and stuff. You know, it's like, we need to learn to love each other. We do. So, let me tell you something. We are filled with many ties to other cultures, other backgrounds. I'm part Irish. I was born in the United States, but I have blood of Irish in me. And I think my stepmother has some Viking in her or something. Uh, no, so something. I, I don't know. Um, but there's just people all over the place tied to many backgrounds. They have blood, Native American blood, or uh, uh, France, or uh, uh, like have what's an ancestor ancestry uh, ancestor backgrounds. Uh, I wish I could pronounce words better, but that's okay. Um, it's it's weird. We 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 all have to get along though. Just because you don't understand somebody's background doesn't mean they're strange, weird, or precure. Get to know them better. Introduce yourself to them. Hi, I am Rats Fox, a American. Nice to meet you, Mister. Mike Russo from Paris. <laughs> I don't know if that's a Paris background name, but oh, well. I'm just using that as an example, you know. Um, and just because something bad is going on in the world, or uh, if a plague or virus resonates from another culture, or a war breaks out between one culture and another culture, another country and another country, or and if, like, a terrorist organization resonates from another culture also, doesn't mean that whole culture and country is bad. I'm using that as an example, because there's a lot of bad things going on, like war between two neighboring countries, and sometimes people blame the, the, the one culture, the, the one country that started the war with another culture against the other country, you know, stuff like that. The thing is that don't blame the country itself or the culture. We can't say that we should wipe them all off the map. No, that's not going to solve anything. That's going to cause more pain, suffering. We need to, ow, <laughs> we need to learn to love each other. We need to get along with each other. We need to spread love, not hate. We can't hurt people. We need to get to know each other better. So I received that foreign exchange student from Paris, from Europe. Um, from Paris, Europe, somewhere in Europe, or in Japan. Walk up to that strange foreigner, introduce yourself to him. Hi, my name is Ross Fox. I'm an American. Nice to meet you. Can I get your name? Can I get to know you better? Because I tell you this, after a while, you're going to get to know that foreign exchange student. And after a while, you will find that he's not weird, or peculiar, or strange. You're going to start loving that guy, or girl, or get to know them better, and become friends with them. That's what we have to do in this world. We need to get to know each other better. I, I know it's wishful thinking, but we need to do it. We need to understand other cultures. We need to understand other countries. We need to understand where we come from. Because lots of people in America, for example, are born in other countries that came over to America. 
and we have so many ancestral blood that are running in our veins from other countries. That's why I like America. I like how every culture comes here and try to find a way to survive. And that has a lot of good thing in it. It's good things. But I see a lot of hate and prejudice, too. And we can't allow that. Prejudice and hate isn't good. I still believe we can live in a utopia of civilization someday. We could get along with, with each other. We could love and spread this love across the world. So next time you see a foreign exchange student or a foreign, foreigner that you're working with, get to know them better. Get to know that guy who came from Mexico. Oh, Paris. Oh, oh girl from Russia. <laughs> Something like that. Introduce yourself to them. Because not every culture is bad. Sometimes it's the leaders, or sometimes it's somebody who else that caused that pain. Like, that, the hell, like all this person from this country are terrorists, which isn't true. Hell, we get so many cool things from other cultures just by studying them. Foods, way, a way of uh, improving our living conditions, housing designs. <laughs> I don't know why I came up with that house and designs, but <laughs> God. but we get a lot of cool things from the Japanese anime, um, anime, <laughs> uh, video games. We get a lot of cool foods and stuff from Paris and uh, France. We get f- food. God, God, we get so many good spicy foods from Mexico, <laughs> and, and 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 we get pizza from Italy. Pizza, my favorite food in the whole world. <laughs> so, remember, just because that person is different and comes from another culture, another country, doesn't mean they're bad. So get to know them better and love them. This is Watch Fox on your off saying stay positive. Stay beautiful. Bye.